Hello, my name is Xavier Sockington, and this is the very first video in a series of videos on GIMP. It is GIMP 101, it's the basics of GIMP, and my purpose of these this line of videos is to basically save you all the monkey business that I had to go through in order to teach myself GIMP. About three, four years ago, I basically taught myself GIMP by reading tutorials, as well as just trial and error, and, and after many hours, I was finally able to kind of master the GIMP. So hopefully with these tutorials I'll give you that footing that you need in order to quickly and swiftly learn GIMP. The very first thing that I think is very important to learn about GIMP is actually how to use selections or creating active selections. For those of you that are familiar with Microsoft Paint, which I'll pull up here, um, to create, say, a box on your screen, you just simply click on a box tool, drag and draw, and now we get this you know black box. GIMP doesn't work on this basis whatsoever. In order to create a, a box something like that what we actually have to do is create an active selection by using our rectangle select tool. So now I have this active selection. I know it's an active selection because I have these dancing or marching ants around in a circle. And then I actually have to cut away from the middle of this selection then fill it in with a color and now I have something similar with what I just got in paint by doing one thing so there is a little bit extra work in creating thing but I think you'll find that it's a lot more powerful tool than something else like that so let's get started with the basics here uh, today we're gonna go over basically the first five tools here the rectangle select tool you'll notice I'm hovering over the button and I'll get a little short description of what the tool is called. Um, you'll see in the bold letter there that's actually your shortcut key on your keyboard so if I actually hit R on my keyboard you'll see that my rectangle select tool is now selected. So we'll go over rectangle select tool, the ellipse tool, free select, fuzzy select tool, and select by color. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this rectangle select tool. I simply click on it in my toolbox here. And I'm just going to draw one rectangle here that's kind of skinny. You're going to see that as soon as I click and drag that I get these marching ants around in a circle here, which tell me that this is now an active selection. I can actually grab my paint bucket tool, fill that in with red, and now I get a red rectangle. Now GIMP gives us this option to actually add to selections. So to make a plus sign, all I need to do is click on this rectangle select tool again, hold down my shift key, and while holding down my shift key, I can draw a second rectangle that intersects the first one. And now you're going to notice that these marching ants are now in the shape of a plus sign. So I can grab my bucket fill tool again, like once now I have this blue plus sign. So holding down shift adds to a selection. Okay. For the rectangle select tool, or the I'm sorry, the ellipse select tool, very similar concept. So if I click on the ellipse select, select tool, I click and hold, I now get a circular or an ellipse selection. Now you're gonna notice that you have these boxes on each corner and this applies to the rectangle select tool. These are the resizing boxes. You got them on all four corners and then if you move your mouse in between the corners you actually have one that allows you to move it either left or right or make it bigger or smaller vertically. Okay. Now to cut away from a selection it's very simple. You can hold down your control key and I'm actually going to just show you, you can use these different selections in combination with each other. So I'm going to click back on my rectangle select tool, hold down my control key, and I'm going to draw this rectangle that goes from the outside of my active selection into the middle of the circle. And now you'll see that I've actually now created this C shape. So I'm going to fill that in as well with my red color. My next selection tool is my free select tool. We can use the free select tool in two different ways. The first way is I can actually click and hold. And I can draw this, you know, a swiggly shape. 
here on my screen. The big thing with it is that wherever you start your selection, you need to end your selection at the same point. So I've ended at the very beginning there, let go. Now I have this swiggly shape, which I'm going to fill in with, a, let's say, a blue color here. The other way that you can use the free select tool is actually by drawing straight lines. So I can easily create a triangle by just clicking three times. So I click once. Up at the top, you'll notice I'll get this little circle here. And wherever I move my mouse, I'm going to get this line from my, the original point where I clicked to wherever my cursor is. So I'm going to click again a third time. And then I'm going to move my mouse inside that original circle where I first started and click. And now I have this triangle shape, which I'm going to fill in with yellow. You can also combine them. So if I wanted to make like a U shape, draw a U, let go of my mouse, I get that line again that follows my cursor. Click in the original spot, and now I get this like bucket type of a shape. The fuzzy select tool, what it does is it selects an active selection based on color. So if I click on the fuzzy select tool and I click inside the red C shape, you're going to notice that I instantly get an active selection around the red C shape. That's because wherever I clicked on it takes that color, so it took that red color, and then any red that was touching where I originally clicked um, became part of the active selection. Now I can use this with the combination of, of shift and even control. So I can hold down my shift key click on my triangle, and now my triangle is part of the selection, or even my blue swiggly shape here. So fuzzy select tool selects color, or selects an active selection based on a continuous region um, based on color. The select by tool color works very similar to the fuzzy select tool. The big basic difference is that it selects whatever color you click on in the entire image. So if I click on this select by color, click in my bucket shape, now I get an active selection both around the triangle and the bucket shape. Again, I can use that shift key. So if I hold down shift, click on the red C, you're going to notice now the yellow shapes and the red shapes have an active selection around them. So those are your selection tools. Um, again, they're very, very fundamental uh, with uh, GIMP. Um, our next video here will actually be on the manipulation tools, such as rotate, scale, shear, perspective, and flip. Thank you very much. And if you enjoyed the video, please follow or comment. Or um, if you have suggestions for videos that you would like, uh, feel free to leave comments. Thank you very much. Have a great day.